Hello everyone, my name is Samar Absurdane and today we'll be learning Q Skills for Success Level 1 Reading Unit 7 Starting on page 130, reading 1 What is an adult? Activity A, vocabulary First, let's read the definitions Define, verb, to say what a word means Grown, adjective with the body of an adult, not a child. Judgment, noun, your ability to make good decisions. Legal, adjective, able to be done according to the laws of the government. Organize, verb, to plan or arrange something. Permission, noun, the action of giving someone the ability to do something. <coughs> Responsibility, noun, a duty to take care of someone or something. Write, noun, what you can do, especially according to the law. Vote, verb, to choose someone or something formally. Now let's complete each sentence. Number one. This chart will help you organize your ideas for writing. Two. Most children can't always make good choices because they don't have good judgment. 3. I'm 75 years old. All of my children are grown. 4. In the United States, people vote for a president every four years. 5. In most countries, it isn't legal to get married at age 15. 6. You cannot leave the school without permission from the teacher. 7. What does the word adult mean? Can you please define it? 8. All children have the right to an education. 9. Taking care of children is an important responsibility. Moving on to the reading skill, marking the margins. Good readers think about the text as they read. They are active readers. One way to become an active reader is to mark the margins. The margins are the white space on each side of a text. Make marks in the margins when you find something interesting, when you read something you don't understand, and when you agree or disagree with the text. Here are some marks you can use. For example, a question mark for something you don't understand, an exclamation mark for something that you think is interesting, a check if you agree with something and an X if you don't agree with something. In activity A, read the paragraph, then look at the marks the reader made and answer the questions. There is a group of people in the Brazilian Amazon jungle called the Satari Maui. When boys are ready to become men, they go through a difficult ritual. The older men find many dangerous insects called bullet ants, which is circled with a question mark. Each ant's sting is much more painful than a bee sting. The older men put these ants inside special gloves. The boys must put their hands inside the gloves for 10 minutes. The ants sting the boys' hands. The boys must do this 20 times over several years. The Satari Maui believe that men must know how to handle painful situations in life. They believe this ritual teaches boys that lesson. Now let's answer the following questions. Question 1. What does the reader not understand? The answer is bullet ants. As you can see, it's circled and marked with a question mark. Question 2. What does the reader think is interesting? The underlined sentence here. The boys must put their hands inside the gloves for 10 minutes, which is marked with an exclamation mark. And question 3. What does the reader agree with? The underlined sentence here, men must know how to handle painful situations in life, which is marked with a check. Moving on to page 33, exercise D, preview, read the headings in the reading, what are the four ways to define adults? An adult. Now the headings are age, body, brain, and responsibility. So the four ways to define an adult are, as you can see, 
age, body, brain, and responsibilities. The same headings, the same headings from the reading. Moving on to the reading section, what is an adult? How do you know when a person is an adult? Does the person's age tell you? Or is an adult a person who takes on responsibility for work and family? There are different ways to define an adult. Age. One way to define an adult is by age. But countries have very different ideas about the legal age of an adult. In China, men can marry at age 22 and women at age 20. However, in Bolivia, the legal ages are 16 for men and 14 for women, with their parents' permission. In Brazil, a 16-year-old can vote, but in Saudi Arabia, people get this right at age 21. The legal driving age in Ethiopia is 14, and in Russia, it is 18. The legal age of an adult is different around the world. Next, body. Another way to define an adult is by the person's body. An adult is a person who is grown and can have children. This is a physical definition of an adult. According to this definition, a 16-year-old is usually an adult. So this is the physical definition. And with age, it's the legal definition. Next, we have brain. Teenagers may have fully grown bodies, but they don't usually think like adults. Their bodies usually stop growing at about age 17, but one part of the brain continues to grow until a person is 25. This part of the brain, the frontal lobe, helps a person to understand cause and effect. It also helps a person to use good judgment to make decisions, solve problems, plan and organize. When this part of the brain is fully grown at age 25, a person thinks like an adult. This is a psychological definition of an adult. Next, responsibility. Another way of defining an adult is as a person who can take on uh, who can take on important responsibilities like a job and a family. An adult respects others and understands that his or her own needs are not always the most important. This is the social definition of an adult. Some teenagers behave like adults, but most are not the responsible, uh, not very responsible until they are over 20 years old. So, to summarize, what's an adult? There is no one moment when a person becomes an adult. Teenagers don't usually act or think like adults, but they begin to learn about adult responsibility. With each new responsibility, driving, working, voting, and having a family, a person comes closer to being a full adult. Most people agree that by age 25, a person is a full adult. Moving on to activity B. Circle the main idea of the textbook excerpt. Now, the main idea of the excerpt is number three. There are different ways to define an adult. Activity C. Circle the answer that best completes each statement. 1. A man in China can marry when he is 22 years old. C. 2. People in Brazil can vote when they are 16 years old. A. 3. People can get a driver's license in Ethiopia when they are 14 years old. A. And four, the human brain does not stop growing until a person is 25 years old. C. <coughs> Moving on to activity D. Read the different definitions of adult. Write the correct words from the box next to each definition. As you can see, we have legal, physical, psychological, and social. Starting with number one. An adult is a person who uses good judgment, can make decisions and solve problems, can plan and organize. This is the psychological definition of an adult. 2. An adult is a person who respects others, understands others' needs, are sometimes important, takes on responsibilities like family and work. This is the social definition. An adult is a person who can drive a car, can vote, can marry. This is the legal definition of an adult. And number four, an adult is a person whose body is fully grown, who can have children. This is the physical definition of an adult.
moving on to page 135 write what you think now we have three questions here first you need to discuss them with a colleague and then pick a question and write your own response using your own words question one which ideas in reading one do you not understand ask your classmates to explain them question two which ideas in reading one do you mark did you mark as interesting with an exclamation mark why are they interesting to you and question three which ideas in reading one did you agree or disagree with give your reasons so you write basically your opinion on what you agree or disagree with or on what you find interesting and why or on what you did not understand from the reading remember to use your own words moving on to reading to becoming an adult activity A in here you have to write each underlined word next to the correct definition so let's read the sentences first all the students like to participate in the class discussion it's a noisy class two on this map the colors green and blue represent land and water three the teachers in our school collect our homework every day that's why i always have it ready four The family lived in a small village, but then they moved to a big city. 5. My brother loves to dive into the swimming pool. I don't know how to dive, so I prefer to jump into the water. 6. When you bungee jump, people tie elastic cords to your ankles. 7. Jamal attended his son's graduation ceremony at the university. 8. The 100 years from 1901 through 2000 are called the 20th century. Now we need to write each word with the correct definition. Definition A, tie, verb, to connect a cord or rope. B, collect, verb, to take things from different people or places and put them together. C, participate, verb, to do something together with other people. D, dive, verb, to jump with your arms and head first, usually into water. E. Represent. Verb. To be an example or sign of something. F. Century. Noun. A period of 100 years. G. Ceremony. Noun. A formal public or religious event. H. Village. Noun. A very small town. Moving on to the preview section. Which country is each person from? You need to scan the postings and write the countries. As you can see, you'll find the names at the beginning of each paragraph. Here is Ingrid, he is from Norway. And Perceive, he is from the Republic of Vanuatu, etc. So, the correct answers are Ingrid from Norway, Perceive from the Republic of Vanuatu, and Jinsu from Korea. Moving on to the reading section across the world becoming an adult welcome to the across the world blog. Across the world magazine would like you to post your stories to our blog. What does becoming an adult mean in your country? Tell us your stories. Becoming an adult in Norway. My name is Ingrid and I live in Norway in my country, there is a celebration called Ras, when students finish high school. I participated in the Ras celebration this year. It began on May 1st and ended on May 17th. We wore clothes that represented our studies in school. For example, I wore blue. All students who studied business wore blue. We wore blue clothes every day for 17 days. On the last day, we put on hats and walked in a parade. At the end of the celebration, I was not a child anymore. Becoming an adult in the Republic of Vanuatu. My name is Pisiv. I live on an island in the Republic of Vanuatu in the South Pacific Ocean. 
On my island, boys perform in an event called Nango. When I was about to become a man, the men of my village cut down trees and collected vines from the forest. They built a tall tower of 25 meters. On a special day, I climbed to the top of the tower and the men tied long vines to my ankles. My family, friends, and the people of the village watched and chanted. Then I dived headfirst of the tower. My shoulders touched the ground when I landed. That was important. Other boys in my village did it too. Fortunately, no one got hurt. After we returned to the village, we were men. Becoming an adult in Korea. I am from Korea. My name is Jin Soo. I turned 19 years old this year. So I participated in my country's coming of age ceremony. The ceremony started in the 10th century. At that time, the young prince received new adult clothes to show that he was not a child anymore. This celebration became popular in the 14th century. In 1999, the government made the third, day, the third Monday in May coming of age day. Now, all 19-year-olds participate in the ceremony on that day. I wore traditional Korean clothing and walked with friends to the ceremony. My family gave me flowers and many gifts. Now I am an adult in Korea. I can drive and I can vote. Moving on to activity B on page 139. Read the statements. Write N for Norway. RV for the Republic of Vanuatu or K for Korea. Number one. People here have a Ras celebration N, which is in Norway. Two, only boys participate in the celebration in this country, RV, Republic of Vanuatu. Three, there is a celebration called Nangol in this country, RV. Four, the celebration in this country is for 19-year-olds, K, for Korea. Five, the celebration here happens at the end of high school, N. And six, the celebration here is called Coming of Age Day K. Moving on to Activity C, circle the answer that best completes your statements. One, the rest celebration in Norway is long. How long is it? The answer is C. It's more than two weeks long. Two, the colors of clothes in the Rust celebration represent students' A. Studies. 3. In the Republic of Vanuatu, boys dive off B. A tower when they are ready to become men. 4. The boys C. Shoulders should touch the ground when they fall. Five. The first coming of age ceremony in Korea was A in the 10th century. And 6. A person becomes an adult in Korea at the age of B 19. Next, activity D. Look back at the reading on pages 137-138. Put the actions for each celebration in order. The Rust celebration, as you can see, D is number one. I wore the color blue for 17 days. A, number two. Next, I put on a hat. B, number three. I walked in a parade with my classmates. And C, number four. I was an adult. Two. Nangul, number from 1 to 6. D, number 1. The village men built a tower with trees. Then A, number 2. I climbed to the top of the tower. Then E, number 3. The village men tied vines to my ankles. Then B, number 4. I dived off the tower to the ground. Then F, number 5, my shoulders touched the ground.
then C, number 6, I return to the village as a man. Number 3, coming of age day, you need to number from 1 to 4, starting with B, number 1, I put on traditional Korean clothing. C, number 2, I walked with friends to the ceremony. D, number 3, my family gave me flowers and gifts. And A, number 4, I got the right to, die, to drive and vote. <clears throat> Moving on to page 141. Write what you think. First, we have some discussion questions. What are other ceremonies that mark the change from child to adult? Look back at your quick write on page 136 as you think about what you learned. Question 2. Compare the celebrations you listed in your quick write to the celebrations described in the reading. How are they different? How are they similar? Of course, answers will vary. For example, Quincy Fiera, Bar Mitzvah, Bat Mitzvah, Sweet 16, High School Graduation, and College Graduation. These are different celebrations, different celebrations from the reading. In Section B, think about Reading 1 and Reading 2 as you discuss the questions, then choose one question and write a response. So you need to choose one question. One, what is the most important sign of being an adult? What do you think and why? Is it a coming of age ceremony, driving a car, finishing school, getting a full-time job, getting married, having a child, living independently from family or voting? Question 2. According to reading 1, it takes years to become a full adult. According to reading 2, a person becomes an adult in one special moment. What do you think? How long does it take to become an adult? Does it take longer today than it did 30 years ago? To your right, your opinion, what do you think? Many, many young adults today cannot find work or move out of their family homes. What can they do to become adults? So it's up to you here again to write what you think you need to pick one question question one two or three and write a response moving on to page 142 vocabulary skill using the dictionary words in a dictionary sometimes have more than one definition each definition has a number it is important to know which definition you need here are some tips for finding the correct definition Read the complete sentence. Is the word a noun, verb, adjective, or adverb? Look at the context or other words in the sentence. They can sometimes give you information about the word you don't know. In the example below, you can see the definition. One is the best definition for the word gift as it is used in the sentence below. The sentence refers to a gift that parents give to their son. Gift can also mean ability but none of the words in the sentence discuss ability so definition 2 does not make sense here is the dictionary entry for the word gift as you can see it's countable it has two definitions something that you give to or get from someone an example sentence this week's magazine comes with a special free gift and definition 2 the natural ability to do something well. Example sentence. She has a gift for languages. So, in this sentence, when he graduated, he received a wonderful gift from his parents. As you can see, definition 1 is the best definition for the word gift in this context. Now, bear in mind that you always should refer to a dictionary in activity A read the sentences then write the number of the correct definition for each world word the word is collect as you can see it's a verb different forms collect, collecting, collected and it has two definitions to take things from different people or places and put them together 
Example, the teacher will collect the test booklets at the end of the exam. Definition 2, to bring together things that are the same in some way in order to study or enjoy them. Example, my son collects stamps. So, question A, my brother collects toy cars. He has about 300 now. Which definition matches the word collect in sentence A? It's definition 2. B. I collected all the library books in the house and returned them to the library. Definition 1. We have another dictionary entry here for the word responsible, an adjective, and it has three definitions. Definition 1. Having the duty to take care of someone or something. Example, the driver is responsible for the lives of the people on the bus. Definition 2. Being the person who made something bad happen. Example, who was responsible for the accident. And definition 3. A responsible person is someone that you can trust. Example, we need a responsible person to take care of our son. So, again, you need to match the words in the sentence with the correct definition. Here are the answers. In sentence C, Layla, uh, Layla was responsible for the fire. She forgot the stove was on. So which definition belongs to the word responsible in this context? It's definition 2. 2. Being the person who made something bad happen. And here it says Layla was responsible for the fire, which is something bad. Sentence D. I am responsible for my younger brothers and sisters. When we go to the park, I make sure they don't get hurt. This is for definition 1. Having the duty to take care of someone or something. And E. Khalid is very responsible. He has a job and he is saving money for college. Definition 3. A responsible person is someone that you can trust. Exercise B. Now here you need to use a dictionary to do this exercise. Look up each bold word in the dictionary and find the correct definition and write it on the line. Pay attention to the part of speech. So pay attention to the word whether it's a noun, verb, adjective or adverb and use a dictionary to look up the right definition. Sentence 1. Children need to learn the difference between right and wrong. Now, if you go to the dictionary, and the answer may vary depending on the dictionary you are using. So, right here means just, morally, or socially correct. Two, we send a young man to represent our village at the meeting. Represent means to stand for or correspond to. And three, the lawyer did not agree with the judgment, but he did not say anything. Judgment means the sentence of a court of justice, a decision by a judge. Alright, that's it. Thank you everybody for listening and stay safe.